Hello, my name is Alexandria Smith, but I go by rain because it reminds me to be nourishing. And ultimately, I hope that's what my life becomes, something that's nourishing. I want to spread love like it's contagious. Like through the struggle and the strife, we are going to keep alive that which inspires and amazes. That's why I'm reaching out to communities across the country and potentially around the world to help support me in my dream of achieving this incredible journey. This journey is going to take me over land and sea. It's going to bring me to a place where I will be able to collaborate, be inspired by, and network with international communities of peace. I'm a member of Women's International League for Peace and Freedom, and this historic organization is going to be 100 years old in April 2015. To celebrate this great event, they are holding two conferences. The first will be for WILP members from around the world, and the second will be open to anyone who considers themselves a peacekeeper. I have been invited to share my poetry during the second conference on a festival night. I will be able to help inspire all these incredible peacekeepers with other storytellers, musicians, and performers from around the world. But more than this opportunity for me, sharing my perspective and my voice, it's an opportunity for me to be inspired to absorb and learn from all these perspectives from around the world, from every culture, from every experience, to hear their perspective, to grasp their vision, and to be inspired by the strength that they've been able to find to help stabilize their communities. And I hope to bring those messages and those visions and those inspirations back home with me to spread them with communities across the region and hopefully much further. So the goal, I'm trying to raise $7,000. That's a lot more than I'm actually going to need to travel from A to B. If I can raise $3,000, I will be able to travel from Missoula, Montana, where I'm at now, to Chicago, Illinois, stopping in communities along the way to talk about Women's International League for Peace and Freedom, as well as our roles and responsibilities as American citizens, how we can achieve peace within our families, within our communities, and help spread that true, grounded, amazing stability of peace throughout the world. From Chicago, I will be flying to The Hague in the Netherlands, and I'm not sure how I'm going to be staying for 10 days there yet. I'm going to primarily be looking for homestays, but I'm not sure that's going to work out, which is why I'm asking for $3,000 to account for any price adjustment that I cannot foresee. And as I continue my way back home, I would like to continue stopping in communities and bringing that inspirational message that I just received back along the way. Once I get back home, I'm also hoping to create a couple tours to travel to at least 15 and up to 25 communities throughout the region. And I will be able to do that if I raise an extra $1,000. Um, raising a little bit more is going to help me ensure that I can make this incredible journey with my first found copy of poetry that I will be making myself using hemp paper. Don't use trees for paper. We need to end that practice. <laughs> um, I'm also trying to acquire a small recording device. I would love to have this for my journey because I will be able to record the messages of these incredible people I'm sure to meet, to talk to them about the organizations that they're part of, personal stories, personal experiences, and 
inspiring dreams and visions for peace from around the world. I'm part of a local radio show that broadcasts weekly over the college radio waves and also is uploaded online. And the networking that I will potentially be able to um, be wound and interwound into um, may allow me to bring those voices to my local community as well as create a place for them to be shared across the internet timelessly. This is all very incredible. So little by little I've laid out what I'll be able to do with every additional sum of money I make up to $7,000. Thank you so much for listening to this message and for passing it along, for considering whether you are able to personally make a donation, or if you know somebody that would be inspired and might be able to make a donation. I really appreciate it. This is an incredible opportunity and one that I do not want to miserly contain in myself, but one that I am hoping to share and spread and grow endlessly. <laughs> we really need to start talking about peace and the meanings of peace and a lot of uncomfortable things that we maybe only talk about in our small circles. We need to start having bigger community discussions about a lot of different things pertaining to our culture, our society, our energy use, and our economy. And only in that way, listening to different perspectives, having the patience to attend and take part in certain and such discussions is going to allow us to determine what foundation exists for our unity. So, if I am able, when I am able, to get to the Hague, if I only could share one poem, one message, this is the message that I would want to share. We are all a family of different ethnicities, races, colors, and creeds, blood, sweat, tears, and belief, past, present, future possibility, Heads, hands, and feet, well, mostly. We share ideas, art, heart, humor, hope, and hurt. Pain is given and received. The powerful, the truly powerful, will transform our pain and grief into the cures they need for relief. Oh, my family, let's climb a medicine tree, listening to the ancestry weave old stories through the needle's eye threading each dream bound into a living patchwork piece by piece and over time we'll uplift humanity piece by piece we create a remedy to the blank stare stale speech and artillery of hegemony upon horizons apart from hierarchy we spread wings of light to catch flight on the wind of a new destiny. Oh, won't you come with me, testing the breeze of innocent direction. Carefree, the inner wild can now see true reflections that feed bliss and dis-ease. Trusting images crisp and learning the diluted that mislead. Brothers and sisters, what's it gonna be? The path is forked, fences contrary. Barbed wire lies cutting off the root to the niche we need. When the bubbling laughter of fresh inspiring draws action out of us with the ease we breathe. In this fullness, step into uncertainty. Let go, listen close, mark me. Some things need no control. They flow like the waters once did, clear through the cleansing soil, pure like the sweat of dignified toil. And some things need a closer eye, trustworthy oversight. I mean, citizens unite against the corporate fiends that are trying to control nearly everything. We need a non-profit regime seeking to redeem the innocent free from these terrorizing schemes some make us believe. 
Imagine choosing what your taxes achieve, and I might call that a form of democracy. And I would imagine my country spending more on education than the military. Imagine lives not born indebted to multinational feudal overlords, but truly born free to discover the journey each brings. We don't have to know where it is we're headed. Closed eyes, open mind, our heart can guide us, leaning towards that whispering, that fertile seed. Creation's potential ripples out as we ring, riding the joyful waves of healing, sorrow stings. Oh, my family, now is the only time to see we are all part of a universal family tree, and we are what we bring. So please, boldly, courageously, bring your peace. And you know I'll be here doing the same thing. <laughs> Peace. Thank you so much for listening. Please, take care of yourself. Take part in your community. Share your voice. Share your vision. And tap into your creativity. There is an amazing culture, a vibrant path to healing that is awaiting our participation. So don't hesitate. Dive into it. Thank you so much. <laughs>